Hey, what's up guys? Happy Humber Wednesday. The Munich Hellas. Um, came out pretty nice. Uh, so anyway, I'll get to that. But um, yeah, happy Humber Wednesday. So uh, I'm feeling pretty uh, happy with myself right now. It's uh, first month down of uh, 2018. I did two brews, did the, what the two brews, I did the uh, tart vanilla brown ale, I'm calling the deliverance, um, and, uh, and I, uh, and I also did the, uh, uh, Mount St. Hellas, this, this Mina Kellis right here, and, uh, a couple of you guys, uh, actually, actually three of you guys, um, you know, got, should either, I think two of you got packages today. Uh, I think one will get a package tomorrow in Wisconsin. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, yeah. So that you'll have uh, the the deliverance, the uh, tart vanilla brown ale, uh, and that's a that's a cool brown ale because it's it, you know I used the uh, I kind of cloned it off of a of a beer that that Wally sent me called Owler. Let me get that can so I can show you again. This was a uh, really cool beer that he sent me from uh, Urban Artifact and uh, you know there's this little story about the owler on there. It's like this British term I think. Uh, it's, it's, I guess a British dude used to steal sheep or something. <laughs> they called it owler. So I was going to call this thing howler but when I was uh, putting the, the labels together this weekend or this past weekend um, I don't know why but I thought of the deliverance you know. Uh, don't ask me why. I love that movie. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a kind of a sick you know plot, but uh, I don't know. It's just a banjo guy that you know. So anyway, uh, I was all inspired, so I decided to change it to because uh, because you know really that 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 tart vanilla brown ale uh, and it's it's based off this you know I took a, a brown ale recipe that I had anyway. Just call it. It's like a you know just a brown ale that I normally do and. Uh, I decided to try my hand at lactobacillus uh, doing some kettle souring and so I used the uh, Omega yeast blend and did a uh, two-day uh, kettle souring and uh, dropped it about to the I think I was looking for a 3.7 pH I ended up going to a 3.52 pH or something like that and go back and look at the videos um, but it came out really really close um, and uh, like I said, I know a couple of you guys uh, already got your delivery today. So, uh, oh, and I, and I uh, kind of dry hopped it. I don't know what you call it. I put uh, four four vanilla beans in the uh, fermenting bucket. And I don't know if you've, you know, looked at the, the, the world state of uh, vanilla beans, but they're expensive as hell. Um, unless you can find like a wholesale supplier. So... I can recommend this. Don't go to Safeway to get your vanilla beans because they're expensive as hell. But anyway, I put four four vanilla beans in there for about a week, and uh, you know it, it gave the right about about the right amount of touch of of, uh, of vanilla that I wanted. So uh, anyway, that keg is almost kicked. It went really fast. I'm gonna have to brew that thing again. I think I'm gonna uh, start doing a lot of a lot of kettle sours. I really like the way they turn out and. Uh, I think I'm, the next one I'm going to do is going to be like a fruity kind of, uh, like a Flanders Red or Flemish or Flanders Red, like a Flanders Red, something like that. Something like Grand Cru, see if I can do something like that. Uh, so anyway, that's that one. The, the Munich Hellas here, um, God, this thing really, I mean, look how clear look how clear that thing is. This thing really came out nice. Um, it doesn't have the, the bready that I'm used to with a, kind of the bready quality. That I'm used to with a Munich Hellas, um, but I think that's because I I couldn't find any uh, Munich Lager. I think I normally use what is it 2305 or something uh, uh, Y yeast. Um, they didn't have it. Um, they didn't have any White Labs Munich Lager yeast, so I had to go with uh, Harvest uh, Imperial. The Imperials and stuff in the can. I had to use Harvest, and uh, it's kind of more towards a towards a kind of a Pilsner, you know. Uh, Kind of quality, but but I think that I could enter this as as a American Pilsner, and I think this falls in the category. It's about the right ABV. It's six it's six ABV, uh, uh, six percent, five five point nine six percent something like that, and it's got a slight sweetness to it. So I think it fits the category of an of an American uh, Pilsner. 
<clears throat> I don't know, it's just really good. Um, but I used Hollertal and Saws uh, for the for the hops, trying to give it that kind of noble character. Maybe I just didn't use enough in the, maybe I should dry hop it or something, uh, or add some more in and the, like the, like do a whirlpool or something. Um, but I just didn't get as much of the hop characteristic. And I didn't want bitterness. Uh, I got the, pr it's a perfect, it's perfect in terms of IBU. Um, just, it doesn't have, well, I guess it does have the hop characteristic. It's just missing the breadiness. That's really what it is. And I, and I think it's because of the yeast. So this is closer to an American Pilsner than a Municellus, but I still like the name of it. It's called Mount St. Helis. So, uh, so anyway, uh, so, so yeah, I've done two brews and I've sent five beer mails. Uh, if you remember, two of the beer mails I did in person, I had Dan Follett and uh, uh, Larry Lentz uh, came, we, we had dinner uh, earlier this month and I gave them their two beer mails in person, uh, six pack each, and then I sent uh, three uh, uh, beer mails out. So uh, Nate, Wally, and, uh, and Tyler, you guys, uh, you know, uh, all, we'll be getting your, your packages. Two of you have already gotten them. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's first month. You know, I know everyone's busy brewing. I'm seeing a lot more brewing activity on the on the tubes, and uh, I'm trying to keep up with it. And uh, I, I, uh, the other news is, um, I sent off for my first competition. So I I think I registered for the national homebrew competition. I went and put it in. Then I went back to the and then it sent me an email saying, hey, don't you know miss the deadline on the 29th or the 30th or whatever it was, and the 30th. So I went in again and checked it out, and I saw my entry in there, but. I haven't received any kind of email confirmation, so hopefully I'm in there. I think I entered for two two entries. So I'm gonna have to do, I need to look at the timeline and see when I gotta send all this stuff in. But um, but yeah, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for, I think I'm gonna do old school for the National Homebrew Competition. Um, and uh, you know, might do another, not, might, might do another uh, kettle sour. Uh, and then the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, deliverance I sent, uh, well I didn't call it the deliverance, it's just in a, you know, got a little BJCP, you know, sticker on it or uh, uh, tag on it. Um, I sent two bottles of, of uh, the, the Deliverance to the Midwinter uh, 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 Midwinter Milwaukee um, Homebrew Competition. So um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to do pretty well. I mean, it's a really, really nice beer. Now, I'm not going to take credit for it because I would have never had the idea to brew that had Wally not sent me that, that owler, but, you know, it was something about a brown kind of roasty character with the sourness and the vanilla that really just, like, you know, freaking turned the light bulb on for me. I mean, it was so good, um, and, and, and it has not, I mean, you know, I've I've drank some beers pretty fast in my keg, you know, in the past, but nothing as fast as I've done this, this tart uh, vanilla br uh, brown. That that thing freaking flew through my keg. Uh, I did bottle some of it, but not that much. Uh, I dr I drank a lot of it, uh, and sadly, uh, we've got a reboot for the. Uh, you know, we didn't. We ended up not doing the gambling night on New Year's Eve because um, we didn't get our act together and get our invites out. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it on the on the seventh or something like that. I don't know what. No, not not the seventh. Uh, anyway, we're doing it like another over a week from now, like like next weekend or something. Um, and I wanted to have some left for the guests, but there's not gonna be. What I do have in the wings right now is I have the barley wine that I did. Uh, I brewed that on Saturday. That thing has already fermented to 10.4% and it's still bubbling away. So uh, I think I'll get around 12% on that. It it's, seems a little phenolic right now. Phenolic, is that the right word for alcohol? Kind of alcohol smell, uh, it's kind of hot. Um, so I'm hoping it'll kind of clean up and it's just because I, you know, uh, tasted a gravity sample, uh, on day four, day four, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, yeah, on day four. Uh, but anyway, I sampled the gravity this morning. It was a 10.4. So that should get to 12. Hopefully it kind of mellows out. Uh, I did put a pound of aromatic malt and a pound of melanoid in. Was that it? Yeah. Melanoid in a pound of, pound of melanoid in a pound of aromatic. So maybe I put too much of that in there. I don't know. Um, but you know, hopefully it kind of mellows out and it, it gets kind of that sweet barley wine character that uh, I'm used to tasting on, on some of yours. I think I have a, another bottle of uh, Josh Hoover's barley wine. If you've never had Josh Hoover's barley wine, Peerview Brewing, look him up uh, if, you're not, if you're not subscribed. Um, that dude, you know, I've only had a few barley wines. Uh, his is one, I think I've had a Allagash, uh, 
Per, I forgot how you pronounce it, but his was as good or better than that, than this commercial barley wine that I've had. I've only had a few. Um, he, uh, he, he, I don't know how he does other other beers, but oh, actually, actually, I do. He does a he does a pretty good peanut butter stout as well. But anyway, um, his freaking barley wine is freaking ridiculously good. So uh, get to be friends with Josh, and maybe he'll send you a a, a barley wine. And I gotta send Josh a beer mill too. Haven't haven't. Um, I know he doesn't get a whole lot out there in California, but I have to send him one out there. But anyway, all right, I've rambled on enough. Wow, it's like ten minutes. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have a brew plan this weekend. Uh, it's Super Bowl weekend. Why would I, right? So, uh, Philly, Philly! You know, <laughs> I, hope, I hope Philly does it. Found out today the Washington Redskins are, are getting Alex Smith. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, he's, he's a pro bowler, you know, but he's, he's kind of old. And, you know, uh, we had a really good young guy that we kind of, you know, ticked off for two years. So, um, anyway. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll have a good year. Hey, have yourself a happy homebrew and have a very, very, very happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers.